I hit the mother line, guys. I got it all. Look at these flowers. Aren't they the most beautiful thing ever? It's like I have a whole garden in my car. It's so amazing. So I got home, I've unloaded all of the beautiful flowers that I purchased. I was so surprised to see that Adam has actually hung one of our hay racks already. So excited, take a look. I'm in the shot, I'm so sorry. Let me get out of the shot. Anyway, I know it's like really bright. Um, I'll take another shot when it's all planted up because that is what I'm going to do next. So excited. Oh my gosh. But first I'm going to show you how Adam um, puts them together because if you get these, you might want to see that. The way it looks without even flowers is, uh, it is, what do you call it? It is softening the edges of our house. It, I think our house was beautiful without it, but this just gives a little cottagey feel, especially since we have a European style house. I'm very, very excited. We are doing the next one in the cuttings garden, which I'll have a video on that soon. I haven't finished it quite yet, but here is how we put them in. Put some of the silicone in these holes out here. And what's that gonna do? Uh, seal it up watertight. Oh, okay. Do you, do you put a screw in there then? Or something? Yeah, that's where the screw's going in. there for tonight what I did is I put in some potting soil and I just put in some of this organic compost all right guys so I have these placed where I'm going to plant them I'm going to tell you what names I'm using Adam's raking over there we added more pine straw and did a couple of new things in the front yard, which I'll show you at some point. But I'll tell you what the names are. And if I don't know a name, I'll probably just post it up on the screen uh, and go find out what it is. So let's get started. So this first plant right here, I looked for the name. I have no idea what it is, but it will hang over. So I have it on the edge so it can kind of just fall and trail down, which I absolutely love. And then this next plant right here, I didn't go to the store to get it, but I found it and thought it was so pretty. And these are all shade loving. They can do part sun and part shade. So they're the perfect mix for underneath our porch, which gets no sun until like five o'clock on, which is like two, maybe three hours. So I chose these because they just need a little bit of sun and hopefully they'll do well. We'll see. This one right here, ah, it's some kind of shrimp something. Let me see, I have another one. Maybe it will tell us what it is. Okay, golden shrimp plant. Pathishishikisi, I, I can't say that. <laughs> um, so I kind of did mine where it matches. Um, I like having the, the two little grasses on the end. Two yellow plants there, a little punch of these colors. Blue, blue, begonia, so pretty. And it will get bigger. And then two of the pink trailing Vincia. So I'm gonna see if I can tell you what this one is. I have more of these in another area. So I might have to answer that question in a little bit. So this Vincia is called Cork Cascades Strawberry. I just love anything that trails, especially with big flowers. Now this is a full sun plant, but I did Google it and it said it could live in the shade because I wanted that pink color. 
Um, so we will see how it does. If it doesn't like it, I'll just end up pulling it out. Pulling it out. This pretty blue one here, I love how it just got, goes up. It's like, I don't know, I love it. It's called Victoria Blue Salvia. Now that's great. Salvia is great because it is deer resistant and we have deer. So I had to pick some flowers or intermingle some flowers that the deer didn't like. Like in some of them I have, um, not begonia, is it begonia? Oh, there's begonia right there. But I have, uh, oh, I'll just have to wait till we get there because I can't remember the names. But salvia is one of them. And then some sages. Um, and several other flowers that they're not supposed to like because I'm at war with my deer right now. And I love seeing the deer. It's so nice seeing wildlife, but I do want to keep my flowers. This one is called, <sighs> one of my kids is playing piano. Uh, I can't pronounce it. Wishbone flower, kawaii rose. Don't know. Very, very cute. Oh man, I'm already starting to sweat. My hair is about to go up. And then I wanted a trailing Silver Falls Dichondria. Love it. I went back today to get more and there was none. I was very bummed. And but good thing is I saw this and got these little grassy things here. So now guys, I'm just gonna plant this up and water it in and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. I did go ahead and pop in a couple of orange impatience because I know that they love a lot of shade and that pop of orange just really does something for it. The one right outside our pantry is shaded and this is the door we go through all the time. So I wanted to have some beauty when we went into this one. And I dressed this one out to be more of like a, I hope you can hear me, my uh, AC units are on. Um, I dressed this one out to be more of like a kitchen cutting where I can get some sage and I can get some spearmint and lavender, um, not rosemary because I already have that planted in like three different places. But uh, yeah, let's do this. So this is what I have lined up for this one. This is pineapple, oh sorry, orange mint. And guys, I've never smelled orange mint before. It's amazing. It's, it's mint, but it has like a tinge of orange. It smells really, really good. I can't wait to use it in something. I don't know what, but orange mint. And I got it because it's fo foliage. Foliage, foliage. I have such a hard word, hard time with that word. Foliage, foliage, yes, foliage. It has such pretty foliage. It's very pretty and I love the colors. So that's why I bought it. Then I have some of the Vincia here, and this is a lavender big time blue. This right here, I hope it has a name on it because I have no idea what it is, but it was super cool. I'm, I have this elsewhere, so I might have a tag somewhere else, but does it even have a, it gets blooms on it, yes. It has a flower on the end of it, guys. Can you see that? It's not bloomed out, but the other one is, and it's gorgeous. So it trails like a vine, but it has a bloom on it. I love it. Oh, you can't have my lavender. Um, then over here, uh, looks like we have a burb doo doo. <sighs> so rude. We have pineapple sage. Now I know that deer don't like sage, so I got this pineapple variety because it appears to have some kind of pink stem or produces a pink flower. I don't know, but I thought it was really cool, so I thought I'd give it a go. Some Marvincia. Some trailing Jenny, or is it trailing Jenny? It's something Jenny. Again, no tags. <sighs> um, running Jenny or trailing Jenny, I don't know. I love the color of it. Oh, it smells like mint because it's next to mint. Um, it's just, it's really pretty. And I was told that, what are the buds in here? 
Maybe it rips another, their other flower. Um, I was told that if you put it in shade, it will turn a darker color. But I really like the lime, limeish green that it does. And it, of course, it's a trailing plant. Love it. And then I have my spearmint. So I'm gonna plant this one up. While editing this video, I realized that I did not film naming what I was planting. So I planted the same thing, the sages, the vincia, the dichondria, these little kawaii, whatever they are. <laughs> and then I also, the only difference I have in this one is that I added in some zinnias. I added in zinnias for this hay rack. If you've had any zinnias, you know that they get big. So I planted these in the middle so that they will become the centerpiece when they grow just a little bit. I was so filthy I had to change and let's just move on with the tour now. So we have a plumbago here. It's called Emperor Blue. Then we have a coral sedum, coral reef sedum. I really love the textures it has and it's going to just fall all the way down here as well as, here's our next fall one. This, this vista right here, I don't have the, the name on me right now, but it's super cute and it's going to fall as well as this creeping Jenny. And this is our plumbago. I think I mentioned that already. And then we have this misty salvia. Super, super pretty. And it, oh, look at all the purple blooms coming up on it. Now this is one of two of these haystacks. Let me show you the twin. And you can see right here, this one's already creeping down. I love that. And both of these are identical. They just are been They've been flip flops so they look nice and symmetrical. Love it. Let's move on to the next. I don't have all the names of these, but how about these girls right here? They are absolutely gorgeous, and their name is Intense, Intense Dark Purple Salilus. I, I don't know. Here, look at the tag. I can't pronounce that word. But then I also have Verbena White Firehouse. Gorgeous. Love it. I have one over here as well. I have the creeping, oh, I believe it's creeping Jenny. And then, I have no idea what these are, but I love the filler and there's, they look like little fireflies or something, little white fireflies, if there is such a thing. This again, have no idea, but I love the texture. Look at this, it's orange, then pink, then darker pink, and it's like a succulent, but it, I love how it just falls, it's beautiful. More Vista because I'm in love with Vista. Um, and more misty salvia. And salvia is a deer deterrent, which is perfect because I'm trying to deter deer as well as have beautiful flowers. Now we're just gonna have a little go through my front lawn here. Right here I have azaleas, which are not in bloom yet. Um, soon, hopefully. But look at this one, it is gorgeous. I have no idea what this is, but I loved it because it had a nice little trail. And I can't remember what these are, but I'll try and throw this up on the screen. More Vistas, Vincias, so pretty. And this is Cosmo, love it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed all seven of my flower boxes, haystacks, love them. Please subscribe and give a, leave a comment and share with your friends. I'll see you next time.